Hey, how's it going guys? Colton Mush here, back at it with top 5 Intel motherboards for the money. An AMD video just like this will be coming up in the near future, but for now, here's the Intel style of this video, and let's get started with number 5. For number 5, I went with the MSI H81M-P33 Micro ATX LG1150 motherboard. Now, this has a manufactured BIOS refresh, so it can support 4th generation i3s, i5s, and i7s. That being the Haswell series of CPUs, so if you do want to put an i3 from the 4000 series or an i5 from the 4000, series you can do that this motherboard is only $44 so it's a very cheap motherboard I would not recommend this motherboard unless you're on a very strict budget but hey it still works it's only got two RAM slots and not a lot of upgradability options at all it's micro ATX so it's a small form factor but if you're building a very budget end uh, build this isn't a terrible option because it's still gonna work it's from MSI who have a decent track record with all their motherboards and you can still upgrade the CPU if you want I would imagine if you're buying this motherboard you're probably gonna start off with an i3 or a Pentium and in the future maybe you do enjoy PC gaming and you want to get more performance out of it you get some more money uh, you can go to an i5 if you want in the future but starting off the bat that probably doesn't make a lot of sense if you're buying a $44 motherboard for number four, I went with the ASRock H97 Anniversary ATX LG 1150 motherboard. It's on the Intel H97 chipset. This has four RAM slots up to 1600 megahertz. You can go up to 32 gigabytes of RAM. And this is a solid motherboard for $72. It's got a lot of nice features. Obviously, you still can't go for a Crossfire SLI support, but it does have six SATA 6 gigabit per second port, so that's pretty nice. Onboard USB 3 headers as well. But if you want a decent motherboard for a non-overclockable i5, this is a solid route to go with at a very cheap price of $72. Number three, I went with the Gigabyte GA-Z97-HD3 ATX LGL1150 motherboard. Now, this is $93, but it also has a $20 mail-in rebate. So if you're the kind of guy that uses mail-in rebates, get this over the ASRock H97. This is a Z97 board. It can do overclocking. It's got all the features that the ASRock board has, and it can do crossfire. So that's nice as well. You can overclock on it. It has four RAM slots up to 3,000 megahertz DDR3, and it can also go for 32 gigabytes of max memory, and it has six out of 6 gigabit per second ports as well so solid motherboard from gigabyte for $93 and like I said there's a $20 mail-in rebate attached to this so if you do use mail-in rebates it's going to go all the way down to $73 the same price as the H97 board from ASRock so if you if you do use mail-in rebates get the Z97 board from gigabyte if not you can get the ASRock H97 board the Z97 board can overclock has some extra features as well so that's pretty nice number two I went with the gigabyte GA-Z97X-SLI ATX LG11 50 motherboard this is a motherboard i've recommended several times in my gaming pc builds as well obviously it's on the intel z97 chipset socket lg 1150 four ram slots as well up to 3000 ddr3 32 gigabytes of max memory has raid support crossfire support sli support four sata 6 gigabit per second ports a lot of good features on this motherboard and has onboard usb 3 headers as well and a great black and red color scheme as well for 110 dollars you can't go wrong with the gigabyte ga-z97x-sli a uh, very solid motherboard at a decent price of $110. There's also a $10 mail-in rebate attached to that. So if you use it, it'll come down to around $101. So that's pretty decent as well. Finally, for number one, I went with the MSI Z97-Gaming 5 ATX LG1150 motherboard. This is an awesome motherboard for $135. It has all the features you want. Obviously, LG1150 socket, Z97 chipset, overclocking great on this motherboard. Four RAM slots up to DDR3 3300, 32 gigabytes of max memory. Crossfire SLI support 6 out of 6 gigabit per second. The motherboard also looks freaking awesome. This is a great motherboard from MSI. Has a great color scheme going on for it with the black and red. If you pair this with the H440 from NZXT, that's the case. That will look dope as hell. So if you guys want some color scheme tips, get the H440, get this uh, motherboard as well. That's going to look really cool and you can show off to all your friends. And this is a great motherboard for $135. can do a lot of solid overclocking. Also has onboard USB 3 headers. So great motherboard from MSI. I would recommend while getting this motherboard, you get a case with a side window because you can show off to all your friends that you have a dope ass motherboard. And it's a very solid price of $135. So these are five great motherboards under $150. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Did I miss a motherboard? Is there a motherboard on this list that you think I should put on this list? Let me know in the comment section down below. Leave requests for future videos, and I will talk to you all later. Have a great day. Peace!